Hey pack leaders, this is here, friends, right? Protecting families, protecting the pack. I want to do a video about uh, rats. So we had a, a rat in our mobile home and it got underneath our mobile home through the insulation and it was in our walls. Started in the ba master bathroom, just you know, scratching in the walls. And then it's kind of moving to my office, scratching the walls. But I think that might have been the wind. I'm not sure when the wind stopped, the, the scratching stopped, but I, I wasn't sure. But um, so I've been kind of researching, uh, you know, different traps and all this other stuff. And the solution, I think we got it down. So we don't hear scratching anymore. And I've noticed that um, that they come at night. They'll come and scratch and do their thing and you know, make a nest and you know stuff whatever and then i think they leave during the day and go back into the burrows and then you don't hear them during the day and only at night when they come back okay so i've kind of come up with a few things on what you might need to do if you have a mobile home and you're hearing scratching in the walls because they do a lot of damage i mean it's just so much i mean you start smelling urine rat urine from the ventilation in our in our master bath and so um yeah anyways so what I've done, I'm going to show you uh, the box that I do and I'm going to link the video of the um, of how to create this thing. So my first thing I'm going to show you here is this rat trap. So it's just your typical snap trap, whatever. But I have a box here so that they can enter only from the front. And I have peanut butter here and you know nuts and you throw nuts in the back of it right there and then I think I only have four at the time because I you know I made five and I was like oh I should have bought a fifth one but oh well so so yeah so actually this is one I think there's just two I don't think there's one underneath here but it looks like that's his tail so every night we caught two for four nights straight so we caught eight total uh, just from this and you we had a night cam and everything we could see the two that we caught and they're popping on the back and I was like oh there's like three or four of them in the background just looking around and so well, each day, like you see here, there's a lot of nuts and kind of zoom in a little bit. Uh, it's kind of like a game, okay? So on the first night, I just set up four traps and then I put this one, it's empty with, with food in it. They can just go in and eat as much as they want. And then once they eat that, uh, I notice that they don't like the cranberries and this is rat X poison in a sense, but it's more like a, a, a healthy poison. It's more like an alka seltzer where once they ingest it, it makes their belly pop or whatever. It's kind of like a, a alka seltzer for seagulls. So it's a little more uh, friendlier, and other animals can eat them and not have a problem. Okay, so then either they get this or they get screwed anyway, depending on what, what they eat. But at least you know they'll last long enough for the others to see like ah, it's pretty cool, it's safe. So then they'll go in and try to you know you know eat at it, and then they end up getting snapped. Okay, and then the second night, another picture here. A different one a different different scene murder scene here so now I switch the trap right so now it was the left one that has food or right here the left one oops yeah there you go Let's zoom this in now the food is on the left one but then now the the other ones are set so now that they thought this was set just kidding it's actually set now and now this one's cool and uh, so what they do is they'll they'll actually drag the trap out so what I've learned is that in the video, as they're being killed by a snap, there's actually other rats like just looking up on, on this, uh, on, on the beams that they were sitting on, and they're like looking and they're like you know looking around, smelling and everything, and they're actually learning what's going on. So I would actually make a modification to this trap, and I didn't do it exactly as Sean Words did. I'll, I'll link his video on how he did this trap, where he actually put spikes uh, through here uh, I don't know if I can draw but maybe I'll, I'll, I'll do it. no I can't draw oh, I can draw you yeah, can draw uh, here you go there you go where you actually put spikes through here through the wood so that um, uh, that so that this trap won't move okay and so if they get slammed uh, there's like nails and whatnot and they're just like they're just stuck okay um, so once they're stuck, then you know it kind of leaves them in there. Now I would go one step further and actually make this twice as long, so that it looks like a tunnel. Because because the other rats can see them getting killed, it, it kind of makes them learn. So I would actually make, make a modification to this. So Sean words, I'm going to tag you that you should probably maybe uh, make this twice as long. 
so they can't pull and they're concealed so that when they do get killed inside uh, other rats don't see and learn what's going on and that they'll still go in and get you know killed but at least they don't see them getting killed in the moment of getting killed and struggling and all that other stuff right so they're like yeah yeah it looks like they're just eating away they're having a great time and they're just taking a nap you know but they don't see them like you know whatever uh, so that's an, the, the another modification all right so now, as far as the mobile home goes um there's different hiding spots and holes that they've made and i think this is where they're coming from uh, i've kind of taken some pictures starting from maybe here uh, there's like a little hole here on the ground and we have a tarp that you know th and I, that they cover but they will actually chew through that too and let me kind of go back and see if I can find another hole here somewhere over here they chewed through the ground so I've kind of taped it up I don't think it actually blocks them but I haven't seen them come back out of it so I don't know but maybe they don't like the taste of sticky masking tape on their tongue I don't know but so far taping it that seems to be pretty good uh, and I think they'll probably make some other holes somewhere else so I'll just seal all the holes just so that uh, if they do break through uh, and, and of course it's kind of hard to seal because it's dusty so it, it's not very good seal it's just very uh, light if you just push it it'll probably just un unstick because I need to really do a good job of cleaning it but at least I'll know if they're popping out or they're making new holes so if I'm keeping the holes on tap I know they're popping out still they're, I know they're still coming out all right, so they would actually jump on these little strap downs and then jump onto the I beams and then run across here. And I'm like, where are they running to? Well, it turns out that they are actually making a little, you know, hideout spot in this nest. So where these I beams kind of like connect, see they'll have a second I beam here, and it actually creates a little channel. And you see all these, uh, you know, rat feces and everything else. So you might want to somehow seal this up with um, stainless steel. Um, not stainless steel, uh, stainless, well, wool, what's it called? Steel wool, yeah, there you go. Steel wool that you get from Amazon. I'll put that link below. I, I actually ended up wrapping my, see the Piper hair that goes up into the uh, thing? I ended up wrapping that instead um, because that was more more concern. And um, so I, I am using it all and I didn't have enough to kind of seal this, this I-beam here, so. I wasn't too concerned about the I-beam because it looks like once you're in it, you, you can just run through, but you can't like, you can't enter the house from underneath because the, there's metal up there. So I, I wasn't too concerned about securing that, but it is a place for them to nest and they like, they probably wouldn't want to hang out there. So you might want to just seal that so they don't come back kind of thing. Another thing is that they actually climb like Spider-Man. In my videos, uh, I've seen them, they would actually like just climb up these cinder blocks that's underneath that's holding up the oil home and so what I did was I just went ahead and and mainly uh, I, I saran wrapped the center part because they can actually repel up to the insulation and chew a hole there for here they can get up to I-beam but then it's kind of all steel and uh, they, they ha this is about like maybe eight inches high maybe it's eight inches I don't know six to eight inches or something like that it's pretty high I think it's you know the the, the rash can completely stretch out but and just fall over I don't know but he has to jump in order to, to get to the insulation and here he can just hang on to this and just be cool so I thought that maybe if I just masking tape this and they, they can't you know grab on and end up slipping so this all the center parts is all masking taped at least like two cinder blocks down so if they try climbing it they'll just slip off so I have this ollie down now it took a while to do it so I, I didn't do it all in one day. I just, you know, did a little bit each day, a little bit each day until I got all, I think all of them. And then I think that's going to help with uh, the center. But now there's some center blocks on the edge that's still touching the insulation that they can climb up on and still chew a hole. I'll get that to it next. But whatever it is that you notice that they can climb up and they can chew it. And there's no metal or anything like, you know, to keep them from reaching the top of the insulation. They'll probably end up chewing it. And I'll show you some holes here that they've done in insulation here's one that they've uh it's a pretty big hole here I've, it's already covered up but you kind of look at the mask over here and you can kind of see that there's a hole right about there uh, i don't know what can draw on this can I draw i don't know anyways so the, the hole is where my mouse is tracing here and it's, it's just kind of cloudy right now but there's big enough for them to get there 
Okay. So I just masking taped that off too. Um, but I haven't seen any of them like um, re chewed it after taping it off. They just seem to either make a new hole somewhere else or they don't come back. But I'm hoping that I, I think my my theory is right that they probably left because there's it's a hole in the middle of the mobile home with no you know supports to get up there. So it's probably an exit hole where they just jump out and then and they can't get back up to the same hole. So that's why why there's no new holes. I'm guessing. So I think when they leave at night, or you know at night they do their thing and then they leave, it's hard for them to get back up because I've kind of sealed everything as far as the allowing them to get back up into uh, unless they make unless they chew up a new hole. I don't know. So that's what I'll do. And also these strap down bands. Uh, I'm gonna put some oil on here pretty soon. Right now they're just masking tape, just to make it a little slippery, but they can still uh, crawl up. But I figured if I just, you know, make it a little slippery uh, as they try to climb up, they're just going to end up sliding back down. So that'll probably help them. Uh, actually, no, that might not be a good idea. Because if they can get onto these cinder blocks, this is kind of like pointless. So I guess if I <clears throat> put oil here, I might as well mask and tape all these too. Uh, so they, they can't get up on I-beams at all. But I guess I won't. I guess that's a bad idea unless you... Uh, complete the uh the thing and it's just a lot of work to masking tape all around uh so i might not i might just abandon this idea here and i beam should be good enough to, to keep them from climbing up high enough <clears throat> okay the, this is pretty high i don't think they can reach unless they see some holes nearby that they're able to get up from here then i'll i'll probably have to think twice about securing these uh these other ones um because they're not directly contacting the insulation so but then there's some here on the bottom edge towards the edge of it like there's see some cinder blocks in the back those are actually touching the uh, insulation uh, below all right so uh, that's some tips here oh, that's my AI stuff <clears throat> let's see do I have anything else what's this yeah that's it so that's pretty much it all I, all I have to, for today uh, I don't think I can show you my how I wrap these pipes but basically uh, the rats were actually getting up on one of these pipes here they run along these pipes and the pipes go up into the house from drainage and also there's power that goes up there too and through that opening uh, the contractors I guess the one I bought the house from uh, whoever built it uh, didn't se properly secure it so you want to go through all the basically all, all along the mobile home and find any holes that you can patch up patch them up tape them up and you find that long here are the biggest holes that go up to the house and you can actually stick your fit your hand in there and be like wow it's obviously that they're they're rolling on these running on these pipes and you know going up so where it goes up is where i actually put steel wool so that they can't chew it again and also i've kind of like you know also masking tape the pole too so that you know they slip off and <laughs> as they're walking uh that can help to maybe throw some oil on there uh, like you know, uh, three in one oil or something like that, uh, just to keep them uh, from balancing and just slipping off all the time. Okay, so hopefully that's helped. Uh, and we also noticed that there's a giant rat that was actually as tall as that box. Um, and so I'm like, dude, if 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 that big a rat, giant rat was Ill, bigger than this, <laughs> can you imagine? Like we saw it on my my video. I don't know if I can, I still have it or not, but this box he was just as big I mean these are tiny right but the one I had he was like his I mean just him just laying down was his head was here like it was just he was just really big I was I don't know <laughs> I'm like dude he sticks his head and then this trap's like he's gonna be able to pull out like fine you know so that's why you probably need some spikes on there just in case he does and he was real smart he's probably seen it all and he just kind of like looked at it he just ate the nuts around and, and the rat X and then I was like, cool, just, you know, have at it. But he never stuck his head in there um, to eat it. Um, I don't know if I can show you here on my phone. It might not be as clear. Uh, but let's see if I have anything stored. Uh, I do not. It looks like I don't. I might have deleted it. Yeah, I do not. If only I'd save it. But anyways... I did move the camera around just to make sure I, I you know, I, I check anywhere to see that there's any um, 
Sometimes they come out, sometimes they don't. But I haven't seen them in like uh, in a good while. I haven't heard them for, for a while. So I think we we, we exterminated them. Every so often I might get an alert, and I'm like, oh, there's another one. Um, go back down there, find another hole, patch it up again, and then um, they don't come back for a while. So it does stop them. So hopefully that's help you help you um, kind of take care of your rat problem. And uh, definitely this box helps a lot to make sure that they uh, get in. These traps are about two bucks a piece at Home Depot. And uh, you just need a, you know, four or five boxes, full them here and there. And then, uh, and I think you make them long enough, these walls long enough so that it covers the two lengths of these rat traps. So you should be good to go. And uh, you should be um, catching them all the time. I'll probably set them all up. I mean, you can do the switcheroo thing too. Um, you know, whatever works best. I didn't really do the switcheroo at first. Um, so that was only because I didn't have the, the fifth trap. I, I only bought four. So once I got the fifth one, I just threw them in there. I still caught them, you know, kind of thing. But they were smarter now and not as, you know, easy to, to catch. And yeah. All right, hopefully that's helped you with your mobile home uh, rat problem. Um, let me know if you uh, have any ideas or any thoughts too. And, uh, go from there. Hopefully that's helped you and we'll put all the links below to get all the stuff you need I also have the a24 uh, Steel 2 trap that that punches them in the back uh, I didn't get I didn't have any videos on that, but I did get one rat as far as I know uh, Because it punched them and I, I thought we heard it But I didn't see it and then when I went back into it like two threes later Another rat has chewed the rats head off and so I was like, oh it, it actually did work. There he is He's just laying there dead so I don't know. There were more, and then you know other animals pick them off and eat them. Cause there was a cat too that that we saw in our video that might have picked them off. Uh, so it's a little hard without if you get it without the counter. And so we just kind of put it there on along the rails with the you know nuts in there. And and these rats don't like the peanut butter that that comes with the A24. Um, so I actually had to just put a little baggie of nuts and just put it on the the, the bait 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 container. Uh, for, and I think this, you, you watch in some other videos that the, these rats, they're kind of different kind of rats. They, they don't actually like the peanut butter coconut that's in there. So, I don't know. You might want to switch it out with your own stuff and just, you know, stick a little crushed nut baggie in it and replace it. And swap out the bait. Because I put all the bait stations, they didn't really go for it. Only one, I think they, they, they really liked and chewed it all up, but that was it. Alright, well, thanks. Talk to you. <clears throat>